All right. Uh, what's going on? Uh, I don't know what episode this is. I've lost count. I believe it's 12. <laughs> Let me check. I don't know. I believe it's 13. Uh, it's 12. Oh, wait, actually, it might be 13 with that one we did. Yeah. Not sure. It's either 12 or 13, guys. All right. Yep, it's 12 or 13. Welcome to the Sports Bolt. Um, forgive me if I am seem out of it a little bit. I've been doing with a toothache, and it's being a real bitch. So, all right. Yeah. Storm, you got the list. <laughs> Big Let's old list, it. guys. It's been three weeks, and uh, again, apologies for this not being the Steven episode. We will get him on. It's just that we have a massive list from three weeks. So. Yeah. So, uh, you want to start off with the miscellaneous stuff? Yep. All right. So, we got Inter Miami and Messi. They survived being down 2 nothing against the uh, Cincinnati Football Club. Yep. They won in penalties, tied 3 3, advanced to the U.S. Open Cup finals. Um, we got former WWE champion Bray Wyatt. He died 8 24, Kobe yeah, Day. What, what the f- Dude. I remember I saw that at work and I texted you that. Yep. You were like, you were like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, it's nuts. He had some amazing characters, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was he was one of the best characters that WWE has ever made. Yeah. And I still remember him when he was uh, a part of Nexus. You remember that? He I was, do remember uh, that. Yeah. He was a uh, Husky Harris. Yeah. <laughs> at least he's with uh, Luke Harper up there now. You know. Yep. That's now crazy. Now um. I think it's just Eric now who's still alive and Braun Strowman. Eric and Braun, yep. If you count Daniel, Daniel too. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess. Uh, Shannon Sharp, he made his debut on ESPN's first take September 4th. Yeah. With uh, Stephen A. Smith. I'm waiting for them to butt heads. It's going to be great. Nebraska Volleyball. They set the world record at attendance at a women's oh, sporting yeah. event. Oh yeah, it was like 92,000 or some shit like 92, that. 92,003 fans, yep. 92,000 fans to watch. You know they're not there just to watch the volleyball, right? Yeah, oh, I know what they're there to watch. Some boonda. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to come back to that one because that's probably going to be a deeper conversation. We have Coco Goff beats Arina Sabalenka to win the U.S. Open women's title. Yeah. And America's largest Grand Slam drought. Uh, Novak Djokovic, go. Yeah. Sorry for butchering. Uh, he defeated Daniil Medvedev. Yeah, but yeah, just the random tennis yeah. names. <laughs> yep. And he's got his fourth U.S. Open and his twenty-fourth career Grand Slam title. There you go. And uh, we're entering the era of the Shawns in UFC. Yeah. Sugar Shay O'Malley, you know, he's the champ. And Sean Strickland stunned Israel Adesanya yeah. by unanimous decision to become undisputed middleweight champion at UFC 293. Israel Adesanya, he experienced the UFC game cover athlete curse. Oh, yeah. On the cover, and they lose. They lose the belt. Fucking A. And the one I was going to go back to. Sideman charity match. I knew that was coming. Yep. <laughs> yep. Bro, Harry got a goal. So did Ethan. Ethan. Oh, but bro, did and you do- see what Ethan think about his wife, Faith, or his yeah, girlfriend what? or whatever, if he got a goal? What What? What about it? He was going to get some. Oh, really? So- <laughs> Dude. So, okay. And what's cool for Ethan, too, is like, so that stadium... It's um it's West Steve, Ham yeah. West, West Ham Stadium, and he scored for because when he scored, I don't know if you saw, he did he did this. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And oh my, I do. I was like, of course, Ethan would score at this one. Of course. Yep. He, so the only one that hasn't scored is Josh. Josh, yeah. Simon, of course, scored again a couple times, I believe. Yeah. The KSI block on speed oh, and the bro. reverse two. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, that God. was incredible. Dude, if Speed scored against KSI, I mean, like, oh, my God. That would have blew up the internet. Oh, yeah. Unreal. And then and then the reverse Uno card for the yellow flag. <laughs> yep. That's Absolutely. crazy. Oh, my God. Can I just say, too, like, KSI's, like, promotions for his fight, they're funny, but they're also fucking cringe as shit. I agree. I love them, though. I, It's a certain type of humor. 
It's like he's he, like he thinks he's an anime character. Like he, he like, does. I'm just like, dude, what if it's gonna look really bad on you if you get knocked the fuck out by Tommy Fury? That's what I'm saying. That's that's it, what I'm scared about. I'm I don't know who wins that. I really don't. Logan better win against Dylan. I know that. <laughs> Bro, if he doesn't win that match, it's gonna look even worse on him. They need to put in the contract clause. If Dylan Dennis wins, he releases the photo. Oh my god! Oh my they god! Need yeah, to get the contract. Yes, they need to put that in the contract. But Logan I, wins. I, the photo's done. I heard that. Know? I heard that Nina's suing him though. Is yeah, she? yeah, she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy man. Out. Crazy. Uh, any more about the charity match or just no? That's right? about it. All right. I mean, the Sidemen won again. Of course. Usual. Yeah. yeah. It was a good match. Seven to five. Eight to five. Eight to five. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what a game to watch. Yeah. So now I got a question for you. Mm, boy. What's that? Football, baseball, or basketball? I assume basketball would probably have the least amount of stuff. Uh, I think they're all pretty even. Even football? Pretty even. Holy shit. I think football is going to be the longest because we're probably... So, yeah, we'll, we'll save football results. for last then. All right. We'll, we'll do basketball first. Basketball? All right. We'll do yeah. WNBA first, actually. We'll just get that out the way. Even okay. though it is basketball, but you know. Las Vegas Aces, AJ Wilson tied the WNBA single game scoring record with 53 points in a win over Atlanta. She shot 16 to 23, and she's a two time league MVP already, and she might even win a third this year. And she's young. Uh, Las Vegas Aces, they hit 30 regular season wins, WNBA record for wins in a season. Damn. Yeah. Liberty, Brianna Stewart, breaks the New York Liberty season points record with 732 points and counting on the season. And then Connecticut Suns player Alyssa Thompson breaks the WNBA regular season record with her fourth triple-double of the season. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't you have a special... I do. See, see, I didn't want to put it on this episode. So this is just a foreshadowing little like clue for you guys for a future episode. Because today is the Bills. Oh, right? oh got That's why. Otherwise, it would have been on. But because today's the Bills, we're decked out. I got the Allen socks on. I got the I got the Bills shorts on, dude. You know, I don't know if I get my foot. Yeah, there you go. But you don't even got the jersey on with the fun, man. Oh, no, nah, that's for later, potentially. Because I didn't know okay. which one I wanted to wear, and I didn't know if it was going to be hot. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, stay tuned for the WNBA. Hunter hinted at something, and it's great. It's wonderful. One of my favorite pieces. Hunter's got some pieces in the future coming, too. Yeah, be on the lookout for that. <laughs> I do. Uh, where were we? We said the double, triple double. Yep. All right. New York Liberty denied the Chicago Stock Sky a playoff hope by beating them 86 to 69. New York Liberty Brianna Stewart sets her fourth career 40 point, records her fourth career 40 point game, my bad, to tie Diana Taurasi for most in WNBA history. And then New York Liberty Brianna Stewart scores 862 points in counting this season, making her the all time WNBA single season points record holder. Christ. Yep. New York Liberty Sabrina Ionescu passed Diana Taurasi and breaks the WNBA single season three point record with 122 made and counting. New York Liberty signed Betnija Laney <laughs> <laughs> to a contract extension through 2025. She's third on the team in scoring at 12.8 points per game. And <laughs> then we have. Man. The WNBA playoff matchups are set. Yeah, I saw that at the gym. I'm sitting there. I looked at it. I'm like, there's no, like, quarterfinals. It's just really just all those teams that are straight to semifinals, and then that's it. <laughs> like, Yeah, pretty much. It's because there's only, man. like, I think 10 or 12 teams in the league. It's really small. It's a small league. Yeah, I, I figured that. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got the number one seeded Aces versus the Sky. Somehow the Sky managed to still get in. 
And then we have my guys, the New York Liberty versus the Mystics. With the guys? Well, you know, they're my, <laughs> my peeps. I got you, I got you. you know, my Go girl on. is flashing on that team. Uh, <laughs> number two seed versus seven. Then we got the number three Suns versus the number six Lynx. And the final matchup for round one is the number four Wings versus the number five Dream. And since I know most people don't know anything about WNBA, I'm just going to explain the playoffs so that it makes sense. The playoffs, the first round matches are best of three series. So pretty much you win two out of three games. Uh, the higher seed hosts games one and two. And then if game three is necessary, the lower seed hosts that one. And then the semifinals and finals are best of five series. And I have here WNBA playoff predictions. I don't know if we just wanted to pick <laughs> who we think is going to win at at least at a round one. Well, I think Liberty is going to win. Liberty and the Aces, right? Is that the? Yep, I agree. I don't know. I don't know any other teams, honestly. <laughs> Those are the only two I really know. I'm going to say the Lynx upset the Suns. And then I have a dream. I'm going to go with Dream Over Wings. Two undercards and two top dogs. That's what I'm going to go with. I liked how you, the fact that you said, I have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh, yeah. Christ. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, so that's it pretty much. And yep. then regular NBA is in mail. We have NBA fine James Harden $100,000 for his comments against Daryl Morley. Yep. I wonder what's going to happen with that. I really am. Uh, Stephen Curry says Luka Doncic is next up to be the guy in accomplishing accolades like championships, MVPs, and all that. I could agree with that. Yeah. We have Michael Jordan says Magic Johnson is the greatest point guard of all time, and Stephen Curry is the greatest shooter of all time in the debate of who's the best point guard ever between Magic or Steph. I was going to say, did, didn't Steph say that he was the like, – he, 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 he did. He himself... did call himself the greatest. Yeah, And that's why Michael Jordan spoke out. I was going to say. Uh, I agree with this statement. Magic Johnson did it all when it came to facilitating the floor and giving out assists, you know? Yeah. Draymond Green does a lot of assisting compared to Steph Curry for the Warriors teams they've had. Right. So I like the analogy. Plus, yeah, I mean, six I, championships, I six mean, nine. I mean, yeah. Guard. I mean, I think Steph Curry is one of the best shooters of all time. Definitely. But I don't think yeah. he's one. Of the, I think Magic Johnson beats him in the, the whole point guard shit. Yeah, I think Matt Johnson wipes the floor with him. Oh, yeah. I mean yeah. that with no disrespect to either. Like, they're not even close. I'm going to put you like this. Matt Johnson was a 6'9 point guard, and then when Kareem got injured in the finals, he played center, and they still won. Like, damn. I ain't never seen Curry play center. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I love this one. Kobe Bryant statue to be unveiled. February, February 8th. February 8th, yep. The house that Kobe built. Crypto.com Arena, even though it should still be Staples Center. But, you know, it's okay. And then the heartbreak. Team USA wins against New Zealand. New Zealand, FIBA World Cup opener. Team USA wins against Greece. FIBA World Cup, 2-0. Team USA wins against Jordan in the FIBA World Cup. We went 3-0. Oh, uh, what's that? Team USA beats Montenegro. And is headed to the FIBA World Cup quarterfinals. Four it's Monten- no. It's it, for for your sake. For it's Montenegro. For Christ, is it? Yeah. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a bad one. Uh, Lithuania defeats Team USA one ten to one hundred four to both events to the World Cup quarterfinals. Team USA's first loss. Serbia beat Lithuania after that to advance to the semifinals for the third time in the last four World Cups. Team USA dominated by Italy 100 to 63 to advance to the semifinals. Oh wait, we dominated Italy. Sorry guys. Germany defeats Latvia to verse Team USA in the semifinals. Canada Germany beats USA. Yeah, Canada beats Slovenia to the semifinals. Team USA loses a nail biter to Germany, one thirteen to one eleven. Yeah, second straight time Team USA has not made the final, and it was Germany's first final berth ever. And in that game, Austin Reeves had twenty one points. The reason I mentioned that is because he's my white boy on the Lakers, but also because everybody was blaming him 
for the loss when he had 21 points in the fourth quarter. He didn't play until the fourth quarter. Put that blame on somebody else. Serbia tops Canada 95 to 86 to advance to the World Cup final. Serbia versus Germany. Canada beats Team USA to claim bronze medal is an overtime. 127 to 118. USA couldn't even get a medal. We got fourth place. Oh, that pained me. Austin Reeves was supposed to come back with gold. Hey, the Olympics are coming next year, so. Yeah, you know, you, you know what really bothers me about Team USA losing to Canada? Do you know a special guy that I believe should be playing for Shanghai? The Shanghai Sharks in China. His name goes by Dylan Brooks. Yeah. He dropped 39 on our heads. <laughs> and then Shea Gillis Alexander had 31. And then Germany won the whole gold medal World Cup final, 83-77. Serbia won silver. Uh, former Lakers guard Dennis Schroeder had 28 points and now has a gold medal finally. Uh, Germany wins the first ever FIBA World Cup in their first ever appearance in the finals game, similar to the Nuggets this year, winning the championship in their first appearance. Carmelo Anthony uh, handed Dennis Schroeder the World Cup finals MVP award. And in general, Dennis Schroeder, what what a path he's been on these last two years. He went from not having a contract to having to fight his way in international play just to get a contract because he didn't want to sign a cheap contract with the Lakers because he thought he was worth more. So he played internationally over the summer, got a cheap contract still anyways from the Celtics. Then he came back, helped the Lakers go to the Western Conference Finals, and now he's a gold medalist. What a career for him right now. <laughs> he's still uh, got a career ahead of him. I don't know. Crazy. Anyways, enough of the USA heartbreaks. Bronny James, cardiac arrest was caused by a congenital heart defect, which is reported to get fixed, and he should return to the basketball court after recovering. There you go. That's great news. They've painted an Austin Reeves mural in L.A. Mural. Yeah. Yep. Happy about that. Oh, this one, this one, please, please. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. NBA referee Eric Lewis retired. The NBA dropped the social media investigation on him. If you don't know about this, this is the guy that pretty much orchestrated so many Celtics wins because his family's Celtics fans, and he's been a lifelong Celtics fan, so he hates the Lakers. I was watching. I even had my mom tune into the game with me at the end because I was fuming. She was wondering why I was screaming so damn much. They never called like six calls against the Celtics Lakers game. And he was a part of it. And then LeBron on the game winning drive got blatantly like with a bazooka by Jason Tatum on the arm. That's a blatant foul. Didn't call it. Even Pat Bev went with the camera into Eric Lewis's face. He got ejected for that. But yeah, he resigned because he knew that Lakers fans, we looked into his family, found his Twitters, found their Instagrams, found them all in the Celtics jerseys. We knew he was rigging the NBA. Otherwise, he wouldn't have retired. So uh, thank God. Thank God the Lakers can uh, play without, you know, Nonsense. We would probably would have had a better seating in the playoffs. Not going to lie. We lost about 12 games off of close no calls. <laughs> oh, my God. So, thank God. Uh, Canada qualifies for Paris 2024. Nick's RJ Barrett's on Canada, so that's interesting. Uh, Danny Green signs a one-year deal with the Sixers again. Christian Wood forward. From the Dallas Mavericks, he signed a two-year deal with the Lakers for real cheap, too. So it's not even a bad contract for us. We don't want it. We can get rid of him. It doesn't even really hurt us. Hmm. I don't know if you knew about this one. Stanley Whitney, uh, Whitley Van Nida, he passed away September 6, 2023. He was the oldest living NBA player. Only two years old. Yep. Yeah, he's the only one that lived to over 100 at all. He Damn. played in uh, the Baltimore Bullets and Atlanta teams. He coached two. And yeah, rest in peace to one of the pioneers of the NBA. Shit. 
And that, folks, is all of basketball. Wow. Unless you want to mention that NBA 2K24 is out, and I have it and he has it. Yeah. Content coming soon. Yep, he's played it. I haven't even touched it yet. <laughs> I've been busy. Oh, it's a good game, guys. Is it a good one? Yeah, they have, uh, for my career, they got a GOAT tier now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, they put Michael at GOAT, and then they put LeBron and Kobe after. I could see that, yeah. I can see it. I respect it because LeBron's still playing, but I, I switched those two, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we got baseball, right? Yep. Can I just get the bad shit out of the way? That you knock yes. yourself out. I got a fat list here. Jason Dominguez. <laughs> so we were all excited. So if you watched the last episode, we were all excited for Jason Dominguez to come when we were going to the Yankee game and shit. Guess what? Torn UCL. Out for possibly six to ten months. We can't have shit in New York, so help me God. I hate that. That kills us. Worst athletic team in all of sports. Yep. Without a doubt. There's no fucking way. Like how? How do you let that happen? Unreal, man. I that it leaves me speechless because it's like the only thing I want to do is just rant about how we're going to be desperate at this game we're going to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, man. He was so good. I know. I can't, man. That that hurts. Y- y'all want to know how good this guy was? I-, I, have, I have him on the list a couple of times. Let me skip through to his stuff. Unless you want me to just start reading off the list, because it pretty much is a bunch of Yankees mixed in with a bunch of nonsense. Go right ahead. All right, we have the Yankees. They won after nine straight losses, preventing the worst losing streak in over 110 years for the Yankees. Thank God. Uh, In the win, Yankees' Aaron Judge has his first three home run game, including a grand slam. Angels star pitcher Shohei Otani. He will not be pitching for the rest of the season. He's got a torn ligament in his right elbow. Can we just discuss this? That right there just costed him hundreds of millions of dollars. We can forget about the B word. It's now it's almost like any team can grab him. Unless the Yankees pay him enough. Speaking of a- angel players, Mike Trout could be traded in the offseason. It's up to if him. If he wants it's up to him. If he wants to be traded. Please, Mike, for the love of fucking God. I'm not even saying go to the Yankees. Just get the hell out of there. I agree. You spent your career, your entire career there. You've been to the playoffs once in your life. You, you are considered one of the greatest players of our time, if not all time. Get the fuck out of L.A., please. Amen. You know where I would love to see him? Where's that? Philadelphia Phillies. <laughs> you know, I saw this, people saying that he might go to Philadelphia. I feel like it's just a perfect fit. Especially yeah. since they just went to the World Series and lost. They need a little bit more, you know. They have a solid roster. Adding him to the batting lineup, I mean, wow. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. I don't know where else I'd really like to see him. Besides in the Yankee uniform? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who we give up for him. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Rodon, that's maybe. <laughs> Rodon, why don't we just bring Trout and Shohei over and get yeah. rid of Rodon? Yeah, we give him, give them Rodon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so down for that. Oh my god. Unreal. Uh you are probably the biggest fan of this one. Okay. Josh Donaldson released from the Yankees after less than two seasons. Thank- hit 142 in 33 games. Contract was worth $20 million. Thank God. Dude, <sighs> how do you keep riding with him for so long? I don't, I don't get- understand that. <laughs> like, d- the man, I- we were paying him. Dude, they, there was a quote Brian Cashman said that when that trade happened – 
and it, it's so funny to look back at now because of how bad this contract planned out. He said, and I quote, We appreciate Gio Urshela for everything that he's done, but he ain't no Josh Donaldson. Yeah, you're right. He is a Josh Donaldson. He's better than Josh. Better, yeah. Josh had his prime. I'll give him that. He was past it. But he's way past his prime. You know you know how past he is? He was picked up by the Brewers to play AAA. Probably yeah. Probably just to be a mentor. Yeah. Um, This one broke my heart. Yankees put outfielder Harrison Bader on, on waivers. waivers yeah. Picked up by the Reds. Hey, he's a free agent after this year. So, I mean, there's that a is true. They could just pick him right back up. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, the Yankees called up Jason Dominguez and Austin Wells. Yankees' Jason Dominguez's first pitch is a home run. And at 20 years and 206 days old, he is the youngest Yankee to homer in his first MLB game. Phillies' Bryce Harper, he hit uh, 300 career home runs. Yep. Mariners made history with their 21st win in the calendar month. Uh, Yankees' Anthony Volpe is the first Yankees rookie with 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases. bases, Yep. In a season, yeah. St- Stanton. Also, we gotta mention Stanton. He had That's his four hundred. We had his four hundredth career home run. Uh, it was like a week ago, almost. Yeah, it was. He's the fourth fastest player to do it. Yeah. Unreal. As much Stanton trading rumors as I was saying, let's trade Stanton. Let's trade Stanton for Soto. You know, kind of want him. I I didn't realize he's still doing great. Yeah. Uh we have Yankees Aaron Judge hit his uh, career 250th home run against the Astros in the his 60th. Pl- the quickest player to get the 250 home runs. Yeah, just 810 games. Uh, this one, this one. I mean, oh, man, I was jumping up for joy. The Yankees swept the Astros in a three-game series for the first time since 2013. When Andy, just, to, just to put into perspective how long ago that was, Andy Pettit was still pitching. Yeah. Like, <laughs> unreal. Uh, Mets, Pete Alonso, he secured his third career 40 home run season. Yep. The Yankees' Anthony Rizzo ruled out for the rest of the season due to a post concussion syndrome. He hasn't played since August 1st. And then the stand 400 home runs. We have Yankees' Kenyon Middleton gets placed on the 15 day IL. <laughs> Yankees' Jason Dominguez becomes the youngest Yankee with three home runs in a five-game span since Mickey Mantle, 1952. Yes Network cameraman returned to work Thursday the 7th, two months after being hit in the face by baseball. (laughs) Anthony Rizzo somehow got tossed in a loss to the Tigers. Yeah. Gave umpire an earful after strike three call on Jason Dominguez. That was for the knees. Yep. And then Yankees' Jason Dominguez became the youngest person to hit four home runs in his first seven career games at 20 years old, 213 days old. And then, oh, this one. This one's kind of exciting. It's not for him, but uh, we don't care. Helps the team. Yankees starting pitcher Luis Severino placed on 15-day IL after exiting for upper body. He will miss the rest of the season with a high-grade yep. oblique uh, strain. Yep. He might have just pitched his last game with the Yankees, too. I kind of hope so. But the, it sucks because it's like he was so good beforehand. And the next I year, could. it's like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. I don't know. I I think I think he's going. I, I definitely agree, especially if we get Shohei, dude. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got to go. Yeah. Uh, Yankees Old Timers Day celebrated the 1998 World Series team who won 125 games. All core four attended. The uh, Derek Jeter, Jorge Posada, Andy Pettit, and Mariano Rivera. Yep. Uh, and then, yeah, the Jason Dominguez injury. Yeah, yep. And Brewers versus Yankees. Crazy game yesterday. Oh, my God. Zero to zero at the end of seven, dude. 
Yeah. So Corbin Burns and the, I think it was the other pitcher was Devin Williams. I, yeah. I can't remember. That they, they threw a combined no hitter against the Yankees. And then Oswaldo Cabrera said, "Fuck that." He got the game tied at the bottom of the 11th, I believe it was. Yeah. And then at the top of the, at the bottom of the 12th, M- Milwaukee was leading us three to one. And Stanton comes through, fucking two run homer, and then Higashioka comes in and gives us a walk off. Unreal walk off, four to three in 13 innings, dude. Yeah. They really had us hitless through 10 innings. Yeah. Wow. And then the last thing, uh, fantasy baseball semifinals are this week. You face dog face. I smoke Steven, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to get smoked. <laughs> and the winners of those games go on to the championship game next week, and the losers go on to the third place game. All right. Speaking of fantasy, what time is it, man? What time oh. is it? What what happened uh, for football? Yes. Yes. Oh man, we got a lot to talk about for football. Oh man. So yesterday was the first well for besides Thursday night. Um it was the first game for all NFL teams besides today which is Bills and Jets um as Storm mentioned earlier. Uh so the we We've already put out our predictions. Um, I might be eating my words when it comes to the Detroit Lions because I had them last. They I beat about the, their defense, dude. The, the the Chiefs. The Chiefs. What the fuck? What the fuck happened? There. What the hell happened? In Arrowhead, bro. Mahomes, you threw a pick six. Jared Goff owns Mahomes, dude. He's two zero against them. I know. Mm. Man. Mahomes threw a pick six. Yes, he did. Oh, my God. It's his first ever on opening night. Do I even want to look at my fantasy football? it's his third interception. I'm, I'm going to look at my fantasy and see how it's doing. It's not doing great. I guarantee right. it. You can look that up. I'll go through this list quick because <laughs> then pretty much it's just us talking about football. Yeah. Uh, Colts running back, Jonathan Taylor. He was given until August 29th to find a suitable trade. He didn't. 49ers trade former number three overall pick, QB, Trey Lance, to the Dallas Cowboys for a four-round yep. pick. I saw that, yep. Uh, Buffalo Bills and the – sorry, guys. Buffalo Sabres are parting ways. Teams will now operate as separate entities after owner Terry Pagula dissolved their parent company. This is interesting. WWE and NFL announced NFL team legacy title belts. Hope you guys have $600 to afford one. I want three belts. Total cost I showed Hunter, $1,700 pretty much. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Nike Air Max 90s times EA Sports. Madden football shoes collaboration happened. I actually have them. Yeah. And I'm wearing them to – Oh, Plan on wearing them to the Bills game I finally got tickets to. Yep. Yeah. In case you guys are interested, Buccaneers at Bills on Thursday. I know we talked about it being the Miami game. At least me and Hunter did. I don't know if we mentioned it on the podcast, but uh, we changed it to Thursday night primetime. So Bucks at Bills. We got really good seats. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That is October 26th. Oh, no shit. Um, Bills safety, DeMar Hamlin made the 53-man roster. He had the cardiac arrest last year at the Bengals. Yep. And Rams wide receiver Cooper Cup suffers a setback from hamstring injury. Patriots wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster, knee, could explode at any point. It's the most insane injury that the media heard of, I guess, even though he played the other day. So. As I say, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no idea. And then this one's interesting. The last 17 quarterbacks to lose their first Super Bowl ever have never returned to the game. Can Eagles Jalen Hurts or Bengals Joe Burrow break the curse? Really? They never? Yeah. Last 17 QBs to lose their first, dude. And it's never right gone back. Ever. Yep. Wow. It's unreal. Holy shit. That you wouldn't even think is true. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I saw it the other day and I was like, whoa. Because yeah. like, yeah, the Bengals haven't gone back. And now what? that you know, Jalen Hurts has a Super Bowl loss. You want you want to mention the, the big contracts that happened too? Oh, yeah, that's literally the next two things on here. Oh, okay. Uh, Nick Bosa, 49ers, becomes the highest paid defensive player in NFL history. Five years, $170 million deal. But then... Bengals. QB Joe Burrow. <laughs> this one's hilarious, especially after yesterday. <laughs> he signed a five-year max extension for $275 million, making him the highest paid player in NFL history. Oh, only scored three points, by the way, that game. Only scored three points. 82 yards. 82 yards. Uh, I, I, for, I, I, he didn't have 100 yards in a game in his career. Against Deshaun Watson. I, I repeat, against Deshaun Watson. Uh, yeah, they got uh, smoked by uh, Deshaun Watson, which, uh, by the way, Noah, if you watched our video and I, you know, dogged Deshaun Watson, I still stand by my comments. However, congratulations. <laughs> you beat me in fantasy this week unless Tyler Bass somehow gets 30 points off of kicking tonight. <laughs> Addison, if you're watching this, you fucking smoked me, dude. I actually could- think Addison right now might have the best team. Because J.K. J- Jobbins injury. Steven had J.K. Dobbins. I did too. I know, but I was like, wow. Um, because let me tell you, um, Eckler from the Chargers for you, and Tua Bro, Eckler, from oh, fucking him was amazing, dude. And Tua from Miami really put on for you, fucker. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Tyreek Hill uh, had thirty nine. Yeah. Shoo! What a game, the Dolphins! What a just in general, what a game the Dolphins Chargers game was. That game was amazing, dude. Oh yeah, Dolphins won 36, 34. Tyreek Hill earlier this season. Before I will season, say this though, two thousand yards. He's already ten percent of the way there. After yesterday, I'm excited that I have Justin Jefferson on my fucking team. He put on for my goddamn team, and so did San Francisco's defense, and so did Lamar and Odell Beckham. Let me Absolutely. tell you. Let me tell you. My God. Um, and also, AJ Brown put on for me yesterday too. Yeah, yeah. He was just a lot of short, bro. First off, my my team. My I'm still not done yet. I've got the Eagles Cup out. Yeah, we we did win. Noah, the only reason you beat me this week. Is because that atrocity of the Eagles offense. Now, I'm not going to give them the excuse that it was raining. Your your tight end, your tight end had no points for me. I know. (laughs) He was wide open on a couple of deep plays and Jalen Hurts never connected to him. Instead, he threw it to somebody else because he never saw him. But, uh... And then when he did throw to him, he threw to him when he was covered by three dudes and he couldn't get a ball. But that game had me livid. Jalen Hurts, that man had 12 fantasy points. What a fumble. That man, I've never seen him get tackled to the ground more in my entire life. I know he's new, so obviously I haven't been watching him for like forever. But, you know, that man got dogged. Literally, if it wasn't for our defense and our pick six... We would have lost that game. Especially at the end of the game when Mac Jones and the Patriots are coming back and our defense just barely stepped up to stop him again. I mean, damn, we won 25-20. Talk about the Patriots here. Although, respect to their defense. Their defense is tough. Like I said, they were dogging Jalen Hurts, dude. He he had like t- two seconds to throw the ball out the pocket. You want to talk about a tough defense? Bro. What the fuck was with the Cowboys yesterday? Holy shit. Bro. Dude, I saw the first touchdown that they, I saw when I was at work yesterday. I was like, oh, my God. That's like, also why Noah won. What? That's also why Noah won. Tony Pollard. Oh, and speaking of which, another quarterback rant. Dak Prescott, you sorry bum. That man had even less than Jalen Hurts. He had 6.32 points. <laughs> I'm trying to be lower here, and I got a quarterback. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, he might get like six. 
How do y'all win 40 to nothing? And you only got 6.32 fantasy points. <laughs> well, you got lucky this week. All respect to you. All respect to the uh, New England defense. But that was some nonsense by my quarterbacks this week. My, I'm still not done. But So all of his stuff is done, uh, ass and stuff. I'm still not done because you know why? Yeah, you got digs, right? No, on well, on this team, no. Against Addison, no. Is it James Cook? I have James Cook, and I got fucking Josh Allen. Now, oh, yeah, right, right. Now, Josh, Josh, always better have a game today. I highly doubt I'm gonna beat Addison this week because I'm at 84 points. He's at 145. But you better fucking put on some shit. All right, man, dude, you're already on fantasy. Go look at Steven and Amias's. Oh, yeah, might as well. That is very interesting, and that all comes down tonight. Wait, where the fuck is... Oh, Monday wait, Night yeah. Football on 9-11. Oh, by the way, 9-11. 9-11, uh, yep. Never forget. Never forget. Oh, wow. Okay, so Steven's at 111. Myers is at 89. Now, Amias has got Aaron Rodgers... Uh, let's see what else he's got. Stefan Diggs. Diggs. And what's the other player he's got? James Cook, right? Or Dalvin is it, uh, Cook. Dalvin, yep. And the only thing that uh, Stevens got left is the Jets defense. Now. And guess what? If the Bills go crazy like they need to for you and me, that means the Jets defense is dog water, which means Steven goes down. Oh as long God. as Aaron Rodgers gets like a touchdown or two. That's what I'm saying. Which would be nuts. Because week one was what? Amias ass annihilation or something? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I saw that this morning. I'm like, they're projecting Steven to lose? <laughs> but also, very easy for Amias to lose. That's why I told you to look at it. Because to me, this is like the highlight of our day. Oh, yeah. I mean, of course it is anyways, but I mean, just the fact that it's this close, I mean, wow. <laughs> I woke up to that group chat this morning. I saw um, Ryan go in their chat and just went, <laughs> fuck, my, dog, my team is ass. I just looked at it. 102 to 64. Yeah. What the fuck happened? Yeah, Burrow. Oh, wait. No, he had Jared Goff. Oh, did oh, no, he? he did. Oh, wait. Yeah, he has Jared Goff, and he... Oh, he does have Joe Burrow. You're right. And he's but, got Cincinnati's defense, which got annihilated. Yup. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. The, the person that, that had the most points wasn't... He didn't even put him on the fucking... Uh, his... His... The team... The player that had the most points for him was Jordan Addison from Minnesota, and he didn't have him on the team. Yup. Oh, that's got to be so... I mean, for me, it's tough because... Oh, wait, no. That's for, that's the other league. Never mind. I don't have Patrick Mahomes on this one. Um, Eagles which, defense went nuts. Actually, which after today, I might switch Patrick Mahomes for quarterback for next week. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have three. I have I have Jalen Hurts, um, Patrick Mahomes, and, Just, and Justin Gilbert. In the league with the eight of us? No, the four of us. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say in the league of the eight of us, you know, I have Jalen Hurts, right? And I have yeah. Dak, and they played horribly. They were my starters. Yeah. Kirk Cousins <laughs> had seventeen point eight might, seven points on you my. Need, you need you need to drop Dak and get Kirk. If that's if that's if that, if that tells you anything. Mm. I want to see what other live players are. Uh, okay. My, uh, kicker, I'm hoping Tyler Bass has a great night. But, uh, Eagles, because our offense was so atrocious, my kicker on my bench had 18 points for the Eagles. Because there were so many field goals. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I easily could have beaten Noah if I had the right guys in. And if my guys didn't choke. Tremendously. Although, somehow, they both won their games. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm I'm just looking at the other like uh other quarterbacks and shit, bro. Can we just talk about how the Raiders are the only team in their division that has a fucking win? That's right. 
Jimmy Garoppolo isn't uh, hypnotized by the Vegas women just yet. <laughs> As you said. That's right. Oh, um, De- oh Denver lost? Oh, that's a shocker. Uh, Patriots announced that, yeah, Denver lost. Yep. Expected. Uh, Tom Brady announced was announced that he's going to be inducted into the Patriot Hall of Fame on June twelfth, twenty twenty four. The twelfth for you know Tom Brady twelve. Yeah. And then the only other thing I have besides Week One results so far is Bill Safety Demar Hamlin. This morning was announced he is not expected to play in tonight's matchup versus the Jets. I mean, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. So. uh we're also doing a list, by the way, guys, which we're going to keep track of our records throughout the year and, like, tell you guys them. Yep. I've done this for a couple of years with my guy, Ryan. He's just starting it this year. Evidently, Pretty by much. now, I fucked up the, the list. <laughs> <laughs> Not your fault, by the way. I should have worded it the way he did. <laughs> but uh, luckily, luckily, we got away with it. Yep. Um, so pretty much, we have a confidence interval from one to whatever amount of games there is being played. So in week one, because there's no bye week, 16. 16 is the highest confidence. One is the least confidence. You choose one number per game. You decide which level of confidence you have in that game pretty much. And you circle the winner who you predict. So we're pretty much going to have a record of wins, losses against each other. And there's also a points that category thing that we do too, because that's the whole purpose of the one through 16 points thing. But, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's happening. So you guys yep. can look forward to our records of how. So, so right the problem right. was that I was talking about earlier was that I duplicated some of the numbers because I thought like the the confidence level was one through sixteen. That's what I thought it was. But then Ryan texted that I was like, "Fuck!" Like I fucked yeah, up yeah. the fucking list. But what Storm's <laughs> talking about, where we got away with um being lucky, is that the ones that I uh duplicated and end up having to win. Were low scores was low scores anyway. Yeah, and the so. best part is with all the duplicated numbers, you only won one of the games per duplicated number. Oh yeah. Oh so, yeah, it really worked out well. <laughs> yeah, no okay. There, there were some <laughs> of them where all of them, all of us got it wrong. Oh yeah, that. that like cr- since, since we've Cincinnati, never had a perfect week. Cincinnati, we got wrong. Uh, uh, who else did we get? I think. I think I was the only one that picked the Raiders to win that game. I believe so. And uh, let's see. We got the Commanders right. I think we all chose Commanders to win that game. I think so. Yep. You were the only one to choose the Cowboys to win that game. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, did y'all see the 40 nothing beat down? <laughs> well, I thought the Giants were going to be I know you better. have this imaginary faith in the G-Man because of last year. But me, I knew damn well I wasn't walking into the season with no damn faith in some Giants. And I mean that with no offense to Giants fans, no offense to you, because I I respect your faith in them. But I knew damn well <laughs> the Cowboys were not just going to sit on the ground with that defense coming oh, into week man. one. After last season, no damn way. Jesus Christ. It was so bad for them. That was bad. I thought it was going to be a nice, fun little – NFC East division game. That was a beatdown. This was a nice NFC East, you know, you're on the bottom Giants and I'm the Cowboys, and I say when we're done. (laughs) 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 Damn. (laughs) Yeah, that's this great substitute for the word. Um, You know what blew my mind? What? The Rams beat the Seahawks yesterday. That didn't blow my mind. I I saw that come. I think I chose the Rams to win that game. You did. It just blew my mind because I thought no Cooper Cup. Who they got? Matthew Stafford. Yeah, but I mean receiver wise, like. I guess yeah. And um, I thought DK Metcalf was gonna have a. He was the only one that had a good game on the Seahawks. Oh yeah. Dolphins uh, Chargers. We talked about it. Amazing. Yep. Eagles Patriots. We we went through yep. that. Raiders Broncos. The Packers. I had the Bears to win. I, think I had the Bears had- to win too. Yeah, I think uh, the Packers annihilated the ba- dude. The Bears I had can't no faith in Jordan Love, dude. Dude, the Bears can't get a break from the Packers, dude. 
They clearly can't. They've been owned by three Packers quarterbacks for the last like two, three decades. First it was Brett Favre. Now then it was Aaron Rodgers. Now it's Jordan fucking Love. Are you kidding me? Bro, I couldn't believe it. I thought yeah. Justin Fields and the Bears just defense alone was gonna beat him. Cause like who do the Packers have now? Aaron Jones? <laughs> Wow. That's what I'm saying. I mean, props to them, though, because I wait, think the game could have gone either way. Wait, Amias has... 38 to 10. Does, I mean, Amias 20. has, um, what's it called, defense, right? He has the Packers defense, doesn't he? Uh, Yeah, I believe so. I want to see how many points the Packers defense gave him. The Packers gave him 15 points. That's more freaking points than the Eagles had. Washington's has 11 points. Cowboys had to have like 20 points, bro. I don't know how much their defense had, but their uh, defense, I mean, they didn't even I allow. Can, I can't look now because Addison, for some reason, dropped it. Uh, Go look in our other league. Shouldn't oh, you yeah. still have it? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, by the way, you're beating me 56 to 118. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Yeah, you're right. You You said he... Their, t- their game's definitely closer, 115 to 94. Yeah, it is close. I think Yusef's wiping the floor with him, though. Holy shit! 21 points? 37! Damn! Addison! You could have, like, smoked me, like, really bad. You could almost reach 200 points. That's what I'm saying! Wow, somebody better pick up that Cowboys defense. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, fucking uh, defense. Where is it? Uh, okay. Cowboys. Cow- where the fuck are they? Did someone else pick them up? Did Ryan pick them up? One of the Ryans. Uh, I don't know. Let me just look. Oh, oh, I'm looking at the other uh, league. Sorry. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> That's probably why. Um, all right, so defense, <coughs> uh, defense. Where is it? Cowboys. Yep. Uh, Jacksonville, drop. Confirm. Yep. All right. Wait, replace. All right, let's go. There you go. Good job. All right. Yeah, good uh, job. Uh, Ravens beat the Texans. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Yep. I saw yep. that coming, dude. There's another kid in our uh, in at work. His name is Lucas. He actually plays quarterback for Catskill. He plays fantasy too. Oh, word. And he's looked at me. He's like, bro, Lamar better be doing some shit right now. I'm like, why? He goes, because oh, fantasy week was kind of mid. And he's like, because, uh, because I have him for fantasy. I'm like, you fucking play fantasy? It's like, yeah. I'm like, shit. Like, if we, if I knew that, we would have had another fucking player. God damn it. But yeah, he did. Ooh. Lamar, you're right. He did. I, I honestly, my week one takeaway. I mean, Josh Allen, please, please have a great game. For the sake of both of us, because you have my Josh and I have the other Josh. Yeah. That you said you weren't going to take pretty much. So, uh, yeah, for the sake of us, have a good game. However, my week one takeaway is all the quarterbacks were trash. Oh, shit. Pretty much. Tua is an exception. And that blows my mind. Because I, even uh, Danny, he texts me uh, that Tua is an underrated guy in the league. I said I underrated him because I didn't know anything about his health. I think that's fair, and I think that's really why he's underrated. Because, I mean, wow. Yeah, wow is right. What, what, no, what other games have you not mentioned yet? I'm going to let you mention it unless you want me to. No, you go right ahead. Go right All ahead, right. fucker. Go right the fuck ahead. <laughs> I want to go on a rant. I want to go on a rant. The Tennessee Titans, they lose by a one point. To, to who? Saints beat them 16 to 15. Derek Carr's newly led New Orleans Saints. So, okay. All right. Ryan Tannehill. Ryan fucking Tannehill, you know? Right. <laughs> the guy I've said is the problem for years. I- I've said that he was the problem for years, too. And you know what? <laughs> You know what incites me about this? He's in his contract year. So you know what that means? He is going away. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's interesting, dude. 
He, like I texted you yesterday, he better start learning how to speak Chinese, goddammit. Even though there's no Chinese league in football, I don't care. That... I was dying when you sent me that. Two wide open passes, you just don't do shit. Oh, and Tennessee, also, you decide to kick a field goal instead of trying to go for it? At the very fucking end? Where there's two minutes left? Yep. Oh my god, I couldn't fucking believe it. I'm surprised Derrick Henry didn't have another rushing touchdown. Or something. I mean, wow, that team just really I mean, no offense, but I mean, wow. I no, go right ahead. I'm talking shit about him. You can. I was thinking DeAndre Hopkins was gonna have a home opener, well, an away opener that was gonna be. Well you can when you have fucking like, Ryan Tannehill wow. not doing shit. Unreal. Uh, this surprised me. We gassed up Justin Jefferson and Kirk Cousins, rightfully so, and uh, they oh, still lost God. by three to the Bucks to Baker Mayfield and the Bucks. Yeah. yeah. Je- 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 Justin Jefferson had like 173 yards or some shit. Yep. They and still no, fucking no, lost. No, that was surprising. So fucking lost. Yeah. To Baker Mayfield. I knew Baker Mayfield was going to be on a revenge tour this year, and he said that uh, the Bucks has really changed his life on football again. But uh, wow, and uh, I'm seeing the Bucks, so uh, you're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear me this amped up for football at all? No. <laughs> but this is what I mean. I'm telling you, fantasy is going to change your world in football, dude. Fucking By the I'm end or, of the like, year, I, I'm telling like, you, you are going to love football. I was looking at the games and shit yesterday while I was at work. I was yeah. so in-depth in it. But then I saw the score in the, on uh, me and Az and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm going to well, love it, but I'm going to hate it. <laughs> One o'clock game started, right? I'm looking over my phone like every 10 minutes or so because I'm playing 2K. Fantasy went off to such a slow start for me, dude. <laughs> It was damn near the middle of the third quarter before any people started doing stuff. Me, dude, before um the four o'clock game started, I was beating ass in like fifty four to fifty. Yeah. And then his fucking, th- I'm like, I, th- when I look back again, I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Yep, Austin Eckler happened. That's that's what happened. <laughs> Twagliova happened. That's what fucking happened. Yeah, that too. Fucking god. Jags beat the Colts. I would have had a dude if, oh, if, oh, this makes me even more upset. If I actually picked up the Dallas defense beforehand, I would have fucking, oh, it's, it's all right yep. though. I got it now. So, uh, I don't know if you put these together, but, uh, all three of the rookie QBs, the, you know, yeah. wonderful rookie QBs, they all lost. Oh yeah, they did. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was the only one that had the Panthers win too. But they got smoked by the Falcons. I was sitting I there. Knew I was, the Falcons were gonna dog them, dude. I do the. Fa- I was just like, I'll be the odd man out, and just just in case, so I could, you know, quote unquote, get more points. But <laughs> it didn't fucking work. So it's a, it's a smart strategy, though. I I we usually when it was just the two of us, it was kind of like I put a list out, and he somewhat picked ones that were like blatantly obvious that we're gonna win, and then the other ones he was like, eh, I'll pick the other team. It's yeah. a smart strategy. That's how he won last year. I won the first year. He won last year. So we're tied. Hmm. So if you win this year, it's going to be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I highly doubt it, but I mean, all right. You could. It, it's really football. With that list, it's not like fantasy. That list, it's literally everybody's got the same amount of chances, dude. Hmm. It's so unpredictable. We'll sit there and we'll talk about the list after the games. We'll be like, uh, what the hell happened? Kind of like now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then Bills and Jets That's tonight. Today. I, I got what, the Bills we're recording this, yep. Josh, for the love of God, please have spoil, like please have, spoil the Jets. have spoil like the Jets. and James Cook have like a fucking have like fifty points each, and I'll be all right. Please have, have oh, fifty Gabe points. Davis, please get some touchdowns, Gabe. Please, Gabe Davis. And get Stephon some Diggs too, please. In my third league, I have Gabe Davis right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I joined a random public league before we started any of the other leagues, just in oh, case. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see what other – yeah. So, James Cook, St- Josh Allen, and Stefan Diggs, please, for the love of God, put on for us. 
please. I say for Stefan Diggs because because Storm's beating me fifty six to one hundred eighteen. I don't want Stefan Diggs though, because I kind of want Steven to win Shh. against the Lions. <laughs> like I want him to do good, right? But I don't want him to do too good. <laughs> right, exactly. Oh man. Oh man. I've never yelled about football like that ever. Get ready for it to become a regular thing. Cause my God, you're either gonna be screaming in joy or screaming in pain. That Titans game pissed me the fuck off so much. It was so dumb. Like I said, so wide open passes. Tannehill just doesn't do anything. And then when you're fourth and what, like fourth and like two, you decide, hey, let's kick a field goal instead of just going for it and get a touchdown and possibly win the fucking game. Bro, you know what I keep think I keep actually thinking about that game in particular. Cause the number one thing on my mind is what if he didn't have one interception? <laughs> like he still could have had two. But what if he had one less interception? How would that drive have went? I don't know, dude. Although, here's an idea, too. You got two interceptions. You have nobody open. Why not give it to Derrick Henry? (laughs) Right! He's the biggest boy in football, arguably. He's he's Mr. Stiff Arm. That's what he is. (laughs) Did you hear Geno Smith's uh, mic'd up? When no. Aaron Donald came running at him. Oh yeah, no, he was like, he was like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the funniest thing, dude. Ah, uh, but, dude, I, I, dude, I. <sighs> Unreal. He just needs to go. He just needs to go. He needs to just be sent into fucking space or some shit. <laughs> oh man. Why not give these rookie quarterbacks that we got to try? They were doing good for the fucking preseason. They beat they beat New England. Here's a great idea. Pick up Stenson Bennett in a trade with the Rams. He's a college multi back-to-back winning champion quarterback. You don't think he knows how to run with Derrick Henry? Right. Give him the shot. Bench Tannehill. Have Tannehill teach him all the knowledge he needs to know. No, and no. Don't even put Tannehill even anywhere near him. Don't. No, put- I just mean give him knowledge. Like, yeah, you know, when they're coming this way, you can back out, take this right foot. You know, just little stupid knowledge that, like, isn't common. He can mentor him, but on the bench. Oh, fucking A. Because I think Ryan Tannehill is still a decent quarterback. He just always chokes. That's his thing. He's he's Matt Ryan's son. God. That's saying <laughs> something, too. That's saying something. Saying that you're Matt Ryan's son, that's a, that's a really bad insult. Yeah. Considering that fucking... Oh, my God. I mean, Matt Ryan, when he did his, like, when he made his debut on, like, TV yesterday... When the reporter literally went, oh, you should have been a 28 to 3. Oh, my God. If he said that, oh, fist of cuffs, dude. Like, fucking just, boom. Like, shut, Unreal, the, like, like, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> that's uh, hilarious, dude. God. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we got. Wow. <laughs> my yeah. voice is cracking. My tooth isn't hurting as much now because I'm not even focused on that. Th- oh, my God. <laughs> fucking Titans, dude. Fucking Titans. And Dylan always says, like, it's crazy being a Titans fan when you're in New York. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. yeah. No shit. No shit, Dylan. No shit. <laughs> you really got one of the states with the most football team options. I know. <laughs> it is still a, I respect the loyalty to them, though. I love Tennessee. I fucking I love Tennessee. That, dude. I've been there multiple times. I've been there multiple times. Everyone's, the Tennessee people are great, especially the women. Um, 
And when you got pretty decent players and you beat Tom Brady against in the playoffs, you know. Yeah. I mean, fuck it. I'll, be, I'll support you. But, dude, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Classical Titans, as I would say. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, we, lo- we lost week one last year, too. To who? The Giants. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Oh, in the no. like in like the fourth and guess when the fourth quarter yep you're probably enjoying the shit out of this because you oh, never hear me this. get this angry i love this about football especially because i used to not give a shit now all of a sudden it, because i know you're gonna be overjoyed by a simple mediocre titans win soon don't oh, know yeah. next week or a couple weeks from now <laughs> but i know when it happens you're gonna be ecstatic oh yeah so I'm gonna enjoy these rants as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I mean, it take it doesn't take a like a rocket scientist to, to be like, oh, Derrick Henry's here. Here, let me give the ball to him. You know? Yeah, I know. I wouldn't do anything else. <laughs> right. I think you guys signed Hopkins for no reason. If I was the coach. That, but that's what I'm like. Why not just pass it? it Jesus Christ. I'm starting over my own goddamn words. That's how frustrated I am. I don't I, think they could even win if they had every single player on the offensive line block so Ryan Tannehill can just run around. Yeah, Ryan Tannehill <laughs> would be the guy to just trip over nothing. He would. <laughs> he would do a butt fumble. That's what he would do. He'd be the guy. Fourth quarter, right? You guys are going to win the game. They'd do everybody's blocking so he could just run around, right? He'd be the guy to run it out of bounds when the timer's out, right before the orange. <laughs> he wouldn't reach over. <laughs> yeah, I like how you mentioned that because the 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 Titans always have a tendency of being one yard short. If you get that reference, then yeah. fuck you. Um, uh, well, thanks for watching this episode, guys. Um, yeah, Stephen episode coming soon. Yes, we still got to get Steven video on. Video game content. And video game content, yep. Madden 2K. MLB's got to come back, too, because even though like, yep. they deleted the game, like we still got to continue our franchise shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, do you have any quotes or song lyrics or anything? I had nothing. Nope. I honestly was just going to leave it out with the Rocky theme song. Oh, yeah? Because the Eagles won. <laughs> I mean, hold on a minute. I can. One of my favorite movie series of all time, by the way, guys. Bills, you better fucking do good today. Or else gonna... right. You better win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go.